Savior just died. I think she is letting out body racking sobs. Her whole body is shaking from grief. Get that picture. Because that is really what I think was happening here. These are body racking sobs. How special was Jesus to her? She's the one that Jesus cast out seven demons from her. She served at Jesus' feet for the next three, three and a half years. She had, quote, brought into the idea of a conquering Messiah, though, not a peace-spreading Jesus. She wanted that conquering Messiah, but here she is at the end of all she can figure out. It is only when she came to this end that God began a work in her, a real work in her. For as long as she still thinks she can figure out how to fix this, there's no room for the miraculous working of God. I'm going to encourage you today, all of us right here, I'm going to say it again. As long as we think we can still figure this out, you've left no room for the miraculous working of God. Mary, she's still concerned with a dead body. Verse 13, they asked her, woman, why are you crying? To her, that must have been the stupidest question she'd heard in all her life. Why are you crying? Oh, let me tell you why I'm crying. Nope, but they asked, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize it was Jesus. He asked her, woman, why are you crying? There's that stupid question again. Who is it you are looking for? And she is only looking at what her earthly understanding tells her. The tomb is open. The body is gone, hence someone must have taken it. That's logic. She is so grief-stricken, she does not even recognize the angels or Jesus himself. And it's only when Jesus speaks to her directly that she goes, oh, you know, like that home alone. And she realizes This is Jesus. Too often, I think, we are so far down in the midst of despair that we also don't immediately hear the voice of God because he's not going to scream at you. He's just not. The Bible says that God speaks to us in a still, meaning quiet, small, meaning whisper, voice. He speaks to us in a calm whisper not in a screaming, bounce-off-the-wall, loud kind of talk. However, in the end, Mary finally sees the situation for what it is. Jesus has risen. He is alive. He is standing in front of her. Verse 18 says, Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them, that he had said these things to her. What does she do? <laughs> she goes and tells others. Let me tell you something. There's the first evangelistic outreach. I've often wondered, where was the first evangelistic outreach? Was it the woman in Samaria? Maybe. But I'll tell you this much. It definitely was Mary Magdalene. She said, he is risen. I have seen him. Let me tell you the story. She went back to tell them. She goes and tells them, and what she thought was an end is now really just the beginning. Just the beginning of everything she wanted to do. On this day especially, we need also to be reminded that Christ's death is not an end for us. Because you see, he rose. Say it with me. He is risen. He is he risen, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Let me tell you something. It is a new beginning. It is not an old end. It is a new beginning. It is a new start. It is a place to build from.
Maybe you're thinking here that you cannot start over. Oh, I'm X amount of years old. Well, I know I'm younger than some of you, but my kids think I'm older than dirt. I tell them I'm not as old as dirt, but I remember when it was invented. <laughs> no matter where you are, even if you think this is an end this morning, it isn't. It can be the beginning you are desperately looking for. Christ's resurrection offers new life and new beginning. Whether you have never given your life to Christ or whether you've walked with him for 20 or 30 years, this today is a new beginning. His mercies are new every morning. If you think you messed up, it's okay. Maybe you did. It's not an end. It's just a beginning. I hope that all of us can grab hold of this and start again. This time, let's start with God's power behind us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for bringing us together in this day. We thank you for, Lord, all that you have done, all that you mean to us. For those of us who have given our lives to you, all you have meant to us. May this be something that we will not forget. We will still be grateful. We will still know that every day can be a new beginning. Some of you are here and have never given your lives to Jesus Christ. Just from a statistical reason, I was told there's 204 of us here this morning. If you are here and you know you've never given your life to Jesus Christ, I want to give you that opportunity right now. Because Jesus is your new beginning. There is no new beginning without him. If you are here without him, just pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, thank you for forgiving my sin. Thank you for being my Lord, my Savior, my risen Messiah. Help me to walk that spiritual journey that honors everything I am going to learn in your word until that day I stand before you and you tell me, well done, thou good and faithful servant. If you have done that this morning, if you shared in my prayer, I'd like to have it make your way to the front. I'd like to talk with you. I'd just like to speak with you shortly. I'll let you go very quick. I know it's getting warm. And Father, for those of us who are here and we've walked with you for years, not perfectly, but we try. Lord, help us to know that each day, beginning even this glorious Easter morning, is a new beginning, that we can walk again with you in spirit and in truth. Bless us as we go from here, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, as we prepare to get ready to close this morning, I'm not going to make you stand. I know it's hot out there, but let's sing from our hearts as we join in our last song this morning, Crown Him with Many Crowns. Let's raise our voices in praise to our resurrected Lord today. Crown Him with Many Crowns Victor. 
victorious to the strife for those he came to save. His glories now we sing, who died and rose on high, who died eternal life to bring, and lives that death may Let's, let's pray. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his presence with exceeding joy to the only wise God, both now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yeah, I saw that. That's why I got my other one. I have to